Hi, this is Don. I'm going to show you uh, the calibration problem that I'm having with my brand new Flash Forward Guider 2S. Pulled it out of the box, set it up here, followed the unpacking instructions um, to the letter. This is the second one. The first one I received had a bad um, belt on the x-axis belt and it was slipping really bad. Now I know I can take that apart and recalibrate the x-axis belt but I would be uncomfortable doing that on a brand new printer so I sent it back. If you look this is my um, I'll show you my two printers here. Uh, this is my Flash Forge uh, finder on the left uh, my left here and uh, it is uh, run a couple of hundred prints no issues never had a problem with it and of course the Flash Forge Guider 2S I upgraded to because I wanted to have more print area. The uh, Guider um, is a, uh, I'm sorry, the Finder is a great printer if you're looking for an entry level printer. But the problem is it prints about 5.5 um, in all three directions for total size of print, whereas the Guider prints closer to 11 inches um, and can print some of the larger prints that are uh, really better for car accessories and and phone uh, cases, things like that, that the finder is just too small to print. So I'm going to uh, get into the configuration problem I'm having with the Flash Forge. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to uh, power on the printer um, here at the back. Uh, gonna go around powering it on. Here we go. It'll power up and I'll show a couple of basic things here just to make sure that um, there's no issues with it as far as the firmware. So it is it has been factory reset. It is back to the original configurations. I did that previously, but I won't go through the process of doing that. You'll have to trust me on that. I'll open the door. Here we go. Um, I'll go to tools just to show the uh, um, about. You can look at the firmware there. Um, it's running firmware uh, 1.4.0.167 uh, G12 2019 um, from uh, June 17th. So that is it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to calibrate the extruder so it's going to settle this is going to go down for extruder calibration and I'll be back in just a second when uh, this is going to go to the bottom and come back up uh, I won't film that whole process because of time but I will uh, be right back as soon as it gets backed up to level all right here we are We've gotten to the point where it's going to touch so the extruder, uh, the print bed has come all the way to the top, the extruder has come down, and it is reading that the z-axis is at zero. So at this point, what I'm supposed to do, from my understanding, is I'm going to take a piece of paper, right here, and I'm going to put this piece of paper underneath the printer. I'm going to move it gingerly, and I'm going to adjust the z-axis until this printer does not move. So I'm going to do that by subtracting the numbers here that will go to are minus 5 through minus um, uh, 5, minus 0.5 to minus 5 I believe. So it still has movement. So I'm going to go down 0.9. I'm at 1. Minus 1. Still looks like it's pretty loose. I'm going to go in two increments here. 1, 4. 1, 6. 1, 8. I'm at 2, 2, 2, 2, 4. I think this is going to go to about 2, 8 is normal. 2, 6, 2, 7. Let's go in steps of 1 now. 2, 8, I believe, is it. Pretty tight now. 2, 9 is, two, nine is not moving. So I'm going to go to 2, 8. So that is extruder calibration to the size of this piece of standard eight and a half by 11 paper. At this point, I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit Finish. 
The printer is going to go into its uh, drop down mode for home and I'm going to go back and I am going to follow the instructions for calibrating level. So this is going to move into position. You have to give it a minute. I will be right back when this finishes its initial movements. Okay, the uh, print bed is coming up to the position for leveling, cutting out some of the uh, the boring part where it drops down and comes back up. Um, its instructions are to please wait while the extruder and platform finish their initial movements, and that's what we're doing. We're just waiting. Okay, now the instructions say to screw the three nuts under the platform counterclockwise until they are tight, and then tap the OK button. So let's check the nuts. Okay, this is, this is, I'm turning them clockwise momentarily just to show that they are indeed tight. This is clockwise. I'm turning them counterclockwise per the instructions until they are tight. Tight, tight, and I'll turn the one in the back. There. All three nuts. Double check them now that we've got all three moved. Double check all three nuts. They are tight. The bed is Those nuts are as far as they can go comfortably without you know ratcheting down on them. So now I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to wait for the calibrator to move to the top front position. And then it is going to measure. Now this is a procedure I have done many times on my Flash Forge finder so I am not in any way new to doing this I've done it dozens and dozens of times so now the instructions say that the distance is too small distance too small nut under the platform turn the nut on the platform counterclockwise until you hear it beep so I just touch it I can't turn it because it's too tight already I had to verify it comes up and it tells me the distance is too small. So I grab it again, I try to turn it, just touching it. Just touching it. But I can't turn it anymore. It is very tight. And it is plastic. And if I ratchet down on this anymore, it is going to maybe break, I'm not sure. Or thread at least. This is what it continues to do. It continues to do this. This is too small. So that is it for the automatic leveling. It will not work. So what I will do now is I will attempt to manually level it and I will show again that the manually, manual leveling process will not work either. And if you look I'm at 90, 73, I'm at 30.5 on the z-axis. So this extruder has been calibrated to two, negative 2.8 where it just touches the paper. These are turned all the way down, meaning they are as far away. It is as far away from the extruder as it can be. I can't tighten these anymore. They won't, this board, this will not drop any more than it is. So I'm going to go and I'm going to move the z-axis up. I'm at 12.7. I'm at 5.9. So here I'm at 5.9. Let's introduce the paper again. I'm at 5.9 on the extruder. This is uh, on a 
This is post extruder calibration. I'm going to try to go up. I'm at 377. I'm at 267. I'm at 217. 174. 124.8. Now, the paper will not move at 0 0.8. 0 0.94, it won't move. 113, I got a little bit of movement. I'm at 118. So 118 is the right setting. This is with the Z axis at a positive 1.18. Against a calibrated extruder that was perfectly calibrated, that this board now will not go down anymore. So it does appear that this board needs to drop another 1.18 to meet the calibration level where the extruder should be. Now I don't know of any way to reset this reset my Z axis so that it will match this but I've already calibrated the extruder to try to accommodate for that and this will not work neither will the auto leveling I'm not going to manually move this over to the other side because what you're going to see is I mean I, I will do it but I'm gonna move the move this first because I do not want this to drag I tried to do this and the, the extruder was dragging across now I'm on the other side roughly over the uh, pen, let me see, go, go a little bit forward. There we are. Just about over it. And my, my Z axis is at 10.1. Uh, so I'm going to move my Z axis up. I'm at 2.83. Let me introduce the paper. I'm at 218, I'm at 139, I'm at 10, and it's just about right. So 1, 1 is right on this side. So even though on the other side of the z-axis with these completely tightened, um, just over 1 was correct, um, 1 is correct here. I move this back away, and I go over, and listen to the sound the y-axis is making anyway. It's not making it right there, but I put the y-axis to the back and I introduce the paper again. Let's go a little bit further back. I think that's about right. No, a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to try to get to the, the correct z-axis. I'm at 0 0.61. I'm at, zero, I'm at negative 025. So the board is definitely not level. The problem does not appear to be the back, though. The back, if I could calibrate the back, the back would calibrate to a zero axis. The problem is the front. These two front panels, these two, the front is, is, is not level. It's sticking up a little bit in the front. And there's no degree of tightening I can do to correct it. So it does appear that there is something warped about this board.